All right, I'm going to go over the uh, description on how to build this uh, operating tank. It's pretty simple. What you do, see if I have it marked in here. Nope. All right, what, what you do is you uh, basically get one of these tanks here. I want to make sure 15 quarts. All right. And uh, yes, yeah, so it says uh, 15 quarts here. You know, a hefty thing came uh, from Lowe's. You get a 15 quart tank. And uh, drill holes wherever it doesn't exactly matter. I did it the way I did here, and just remember that wherever you drill the holes, you also have to uh, be able to uh, drill holes into your shelf as well. So this, is, so the way this lays here in the shelf is going to be the way where you where you put the holes at. So this would be here, this would be here, so it'd be kind of you know cross here and down here like an inch or two. Didn't really think this out when I placed this, so I suggest you would just drill a hole here and drill a hole here rather than have it like this. Whatever, no matter. So, anyway, this here's a three quarters inch bulkhead fitting, and this here's a half inch bulkhead fitting. This right here, this is siphon. This was supposed to be for like a uh, this is supposed to be the operating tank, but I couldn't get the seal and it turned into a feed tank. So, that right there is not by any uh, stretch of the imagination a siphon. That's not a siphon at all. Another cap. All right. So this right here would be a half inch. This would be your quarter inch right here. Have a um, straight elbow. You know, in order to have an elbow, and this would go down into the. Uh, this would go to the drain tank right here, to the side of the uh, drain tank. And this here would be the uh, quarter inch straight elbow. Instead of having a, uh, what is it, you know, like a, th a coupling or whatever, male to male coupling with a uh, elbow and then another coupling and then a fitting or something like that. Instead, you just get a street elbow. Saves you a lot, you know, it saves you more money, more time, more hassle. So, I'll do that there. This right here would be a uh, bulkhead, black bulkhead fitting with a uh, half inch uh, barb on it. This right here is an old version. I don't recommend you do this at all. I'd rather recommend just get something like this right here. So you have this right here instead of that. So you just replace the two. You know, replace this here with uh, what you see right here on the bottom. Of this uh, draining, this output tube here. And of course, always remember to have some uh, sort of extra sealant there. So I use that tape. Tape help keep the uh, seal doing this and uh, as for this uh, feeder here there's a little bit of a trick to it in fact this feeder this is what this is this is a uh, see if I can show you when I tilt up this LC kind of LCD right here this is a uh, little giant Right here, so this here's a little giant uh, water feeder. It's an automatic water f uh, feeder for animals, basically. You get these things at uh, Tractor Supply or Amazon.com, which I would recommend. So I'm always a big fan of Amazon. Things are a lot more convenient than going to Tractor Supply. But anyway, you get this thing for like 12 or 15 bucks. It's, real, it's pretty cheap. And uh, automatic water feeders by, made by Little Giant. Little Giant, you know, uh, water feeder. On that water feeder, and uh, just it's a, the uh, fitting here is for a three quarters inch garden hose, so you would need an adapter or something like this with a barb. So just right here, you could get this. Uh, I got this thing here at Lowe's. You get it cheaper. I highly recommend it because Lowe's is like complete retail prices. Uh, this right here is just a. Uh, this is an actually a three quarters inch barb, but you get but and it's oversized. What I'd recommend you do with this thing. Is you get the proper fitting for this thing, and this in that case would probably be like a five eighths inch barb for the five eighths inch OD to this uh, three quarters inch OD tube. So the tube here is three quarters inch on the outside, but on the inside it's uh, five eighths of an inch, and that's why you want to have a five eighths inch barb to go with this. And this right here, the barb would be like three eighths inch because this is three eighths inch ID, and this would be here would be a uh, once again, a five-eighths inch ID, a five-eighths inch uh, 
5 8 inch barb for a, a 5 8 inch ID tube. I'm a little confused too. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, try not to knock over the Epsom salt there. So anyway, this uh, another part to this thing here. So you would uh, just take the barb, screw that in there. This, remember, this is for a hose type of fitting. There's a difference between a pipe fitting and a hose fitting. So you'll see uh, like uh, MH over at Lowe's. So it'd be a male hose rather than a male uh, IP, you know, a pipe or whatever. So that's uh, the difference is that uh, there's a small, there's fewer threads on this thing, and they're also bigger. So remember to get the right size. Remember to get a hose fitting and not a, a pipe fitting with this right here. And uh, in order to anchor this thing down, because it has some uh, has some set screws right here. But in order to uh, get past this little lip here, what uh, I did is I just took a pair of scissors and I uh, cut it. As you can see right here, I want to get the right angle. I have the uh, LCD flip towards me, so I'm like trying to play with this thing in my mirror image here to see how things are aligned with the camera. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, took uh, some scissors. If you can't find it like a better way, probably get a Dremel or something like that. Because as you can see, with uh, in, with uh, scissors you do run a risk of uh, cracking it. As you see right there with that crack, that's not very good. You don't want it to crack or anything like that. But uh, do get some holes in here so that you can make contact with the set screws up against the wall rather than this right here because these can easily slip off. You know, these little screws here, if they were anchored here, they could slip off. So make accommodations if necessary for this thing to compress up against the wall of the uh, tank. That's all you need to really know for the feed tank. So I'm going to go on to the next thing.